Ian, Ian's our oldest. We have two boys. Uh, Ian's 21 and Neil is 19. Actually, I got interested in the medical field in high school. I've always kind of had an interest in it, but I uh, blew out my knee in high school playing football. I'm very injury prone. You can ask my mom. She, uh, she'll go with that one. I got involved because I was always, you know, around the surgeons and stuff, and I kind of got interested in the field by kind of seeing it all. And... Well, Ian was home for Christmas break um, and started feeling, uh, he had actually gone for a run and the next day started feeling very, very poorly. It kind of got progressively worse and I started to have like kind of a pinpoint pain in my stomach and didn't know if I'd, you know, pulled an ab muscle or something running. Then he just kept feeling worse and worse and was throwing up and, and diarrhea and just, just awful. And then so I went to the doctor and he said, that she's like, yeah, it's probably just a stomach flu, you're fine. He said, if, if it doesn't get better, come back immediately. So it got just about double in pain, it got a lot worse. And so he went back to the doctor and that's when the doctor said, you need to go directly to the emergency room because I'm suspecting an appendicitis. And came up here and within 45 minutes I had a morphine drip and I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> surgery prep. Well, I was a worried mom because he may be 21, but he's still my son, and and so I was I was you know worried that that it could be something else. Could it be something worse than a than a uh, appendicitis? Things just went quickly, and that was that made me feel better to know that that things were moving along in a timely fashion. That he was going to be seen and going to be taken care of quickly, and and we were. Everything just moved along. I was not scared at all. I was. I was you know, I felt very safe and didn't to worry about anything happening. Um, I, I felt like I was in good hands. The doctors, I trusted the nurses and the, and the doctors that were, I was under the care of. After the surgery, then the doctor uh, brought me into a room and talked to me himself and told me what, he's, what he had found when he was in there and, and um, you know, just kept me totally informed of, of how he was doing and what he had found, so. If I had to tell somebody you know, if to help them make a decision on where to go for care, I would definitely recommend the, this hospital. Because the care is I mean, it's unprecedented and everybody's so nice and it's clean, it's a very nice facility. And, and I agree, I would definitely recommend Good Samaritan. It's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, I mean, it's almost a resort. I felt like I was at like a hotel instead of a hospital when I was very comfortable rooms. It wasn't, it didn't have the hospital you know, feel just boxy and like it was a, I don't know, like just felt comfortable.